The Dow stock market index has been in a volatile slide since making its 18,350 new all-time high of mid-May, having recently nudged to a low of 17,600 that many have attributed in large part to the unfolding Greece debt crises, the latest of which is Greece missing its deadline to repay Euro 1.6 billion to the IMF. This has galvanized the stock market base to once more proclaim that the stock's bull market is over and a new bear market is underway. The Syriza government has successfully painted a bogus picture of Greece being the victim of the evil Troika, when instead the truth is the exact opposite, as it is clear case of Syriza Greece blackmailing the Eurozone with financial Armageddon triggered by a Grexit contagion inducing event that it repeatedly warns would blow the Eurozone apart. The reason why Cyprus is able to run his mouth with misinformation and propaganda is that the Troika has avoided telling the truth to the Eurozone taxpayers. The truth that Greece has not made any debt repayments, has not made any interest repayments and even its banks have not paid a single of their own Euros out to withdrawing customers. For all of these funds have been paid for by the Eurozone taxpayers and the ECB that totals over Euros 360 billion. If Eurozone taxpayers were presented with the reality of what the Troika has done in their name, that could prompt much anger. Why are much poorer people than the Greeks on lower wages, working longer hours, retiring much later than the Greeks, or financing the Greek relatively laid-back lifestyle in perpetuity? Not only that, but Greece demands more, more and more bailouts without conditions coupled with periodic 50% debt write-downs. Today's Greece operates more like a mafia crime syndicate that holds a gun to the Eurozone taxpayer's head to pay up their monthly 2% VIG or else. Tuesday's 11pm IMF Euro 1.6 billion loan repayment deadline that series had been busy milking to maximum propaganda extent masked the truth that Syriza was also seeking a Euro 7.2 billion VIG from the Eurozone before Syriza Greece paid back 1.6 billion to the IMF. That subsequently Syriza has even had the goal to submit a new proposal to the Troika for a condition free third bailout of Euros 27 billion or so. The bottom line is that Greece Syriza is blackmailing Europe, where 3% of the Eurozone's electorate profess the right to decide the fate of the whole Eurozone, just as SP Scotland blackmailed the rest of the UK, and so similarly Greece will vote to stay in the Eurozone, just as Scotland had voted to stay in the UK. Though it remains to be seen if that will be even possible, given the delusion in Greece that expects the Eurozone member states many of whom are poorer than Greece, to finance the Greek lifestyle in perpetuity. If, as expected, Greece votes yes to stay in the Eurozone, then what? Political chaos in Greece, as Syriza will refuse to implement the referendum decision, thus prompting another decision-delaying election. However, all of this could be mute, as things could come ahead before the 5th July referendum. My long-standing view is that Greece will eventually leave the Eurozone for the fundamental fact that Greece refuses to live within its means and so within the Eurozone cannot print money and debt and inflate to pay for its bloated public sector and water bribes. Greece for the duration of the crisis has had no choice but to leave the Eurozone and all that the ECB, EU and IMF have done is to throw good money after bad that now totals over Euro 360 billion of Eurozone taxpayers' money flushed down the Greek toilet. It should be noted that this follows a decade-long spending binge on the back of German low interest rates, 
when the Greek government racked up debts that it hid from the markets, which it could do so because the debts were denominated in euros so there were no inflationary consequences visible. They lied, they stole, and then they wanted a perpetual Eurozone subsidy, just like Scotland rejoins in the UK. Where the stock market is concerned, the break of the 17,700 law has prompted much bearish commentary, such as concluding that it marks the right shoulder of a bearish head and shoulders price pattern, with many pointing to China's 20% slide for end time signs. Despite the fact that China remains a highly volatile and easily corruptible market for stocks and virtually every other asset, which is why wealthy Chinese have been sending their money abroad to buy assets in the UK and US, including stocks and housing. In terms of the prospects for the stock market for 2015, I turn to my in-depth analysis of 3rd of February that concluded in a detailed trend forecast expectation for a volatile first half trading range that in the first instance targeted a new all-time high before the end of March, which was achieved early March, followed by a volatile trend to culminate in a late June low at around 17,500 before the Dow resumes its bull market trend to a series of new all-time highs into the end of the year. Having reached the final destination of this analysis, my forecast conclusion is for the Dow to spend the first half of 2015 in a wide volatile trading range that will set the scene for a bull run to have started by early August that continues into the end of the year, punctuated by an October correction law. I further expect the Dow to be trading well above 19,000 during December and probably spike above 19,500 before closing at around Dow 19,150 for a 7.5% gain on the year. The bottom line is don't be frightened by first half weakness. In conclusion, and according to my long-standing trend forecast that places the Dow currently to around 17,500, which compares against a recent trading low of 17,600, that implies little deviation from the trend forecast of five months ago, therefore I see no reason to conduct a more in-depth analysis as probability clearly favours an imminent Dow bottom so as to set the scene, propel the Dow higher during the second half of 2015 for a bull run all the way towards Dow 20k before the end of this year. So ensure you are subscribed to this YouTube channel for future updates.